Hey there guys, Nintendo PSX here with plog number trace. And uh, we're going to start off immediately with games that I have been playing recently. <sighs> Thinking maybe I'll do a editing thing there? No? We'll find out. Anyways, Pokemon Y, still been playing this game uh, not so much in, uh, anymore because I've basically got a team that I work with. But I've still been playing it recently. Uh, I have a friend who I've been playing, uh, battling against, and helping learn uh, competitive with lately. Again, if you... Um, Still have Pokemon Y, send me a message on YouTube. Don't type in the comments, but send me a message. And uh, send me your friend code, I can send you mine, and we could do some battles and stuffs. Next on the list is Yakuza 4. I saw this at um, a local GameStop, and I was watching a Let's Play of it. Uh, and I found the game pretty fun from what I saw, and I picked it up. F phenomenal game. It's sad that they you, Sega won't bring this series here anymore because it wasn't doing too well over here. This is a great game. If you can find Yakuza 4, pick it up. It's really good. It's uh, a fun beat em up. The story is fantastic. It has some ridiculous points to it. It's funny. I mean, it, it's just an overall good game. Uh, it, it is still in Japanese, so you have to read subtitles, but who cares? It's not even that hard at all. Uh, oh, my games are going to fall over here. Uh, next up, recently. Um, Super Mario 3D World, still playing this game. To still again, not much I could say compared to last time, but it's still a really fun Mario game. And definitely, if you have a Wii U, you have to pick this game up. It is just too much fun. It is just way too much fun. It's so good. I recently did a stream on this not too many days ago, and uh, this game is just it, it is phenomenally fun. Definitely, still gotta pick this up if you have a Wii U. Uh, also, recently I've been playing is Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. I Technically owned the original, but I let Steve have it because I don't have a 360 anymore, and I had it on the 360. So I got this one on PS4. Still a really fun game. If you never had the chance to play the original one, pick it up now on either Xbox One or PS4. Pick it up on PS4. What? And um, it's it's still it's still the same game, but you know you can do um, it gives you all the DLC stuff. It gives you um, a comic book saying what happened before their ship went crazy crashy it's still a really good game probably the best uh action adventure game in a really 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 long time so i would definitely recommend if you love adventure games or even action games you have to pick this game up if you uh already played it i guess you don't have to pick it up even though i've already played it i still picked it up still really good unless you want to wait maybe a month see wait for it to um drop in price but if you don't trust square enix i'd say pick it up now if you want a sequel because you never know what square enix is gonna do all right, I've also been playing Final Fantasy VIII recently. Um, I uh, I got it a, quite a while ago, and I haven't really touched it much, so I went back to it for a bit, and uh, it's still fun. Final Fantasy. I mean, it's Final Fantasy. What are you gonna say? But it's still fun, and uh, I guess. Oh yeah, it's on Steam now. So if you have a PC, you can pick this up. So I would say pick it up. If you're uh, if you're not too much into um, like romance, I guess. I wouldn't say this would be your favorite Final Fantasy to pick up, because there is a romance aspect to this game uh, between the main character and another one, or like some weird love triangle thing. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I didn't even get that far in yet. Maybe what, like eight hours in, and I'm barely doing anything in the game. But yeah, if you if you don't mind the romance aspect and you still want a good Final Fantasy to play, you can pick it up on Steam on your PC, or you can pick it up on a PlayStation Network on a, the PlayStation Vita or the PS3. Next that I've been playing recently is another Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy Anthology. It has Final Fantasy 5 and 6, though more specifically I was playing 5, because I never played 5, and this is one of the few formats you could play it in. You can only play it on the PS1 like this, or you can play it on the PS1, PSN download version. I don't think there's any other version of Final Fantasy 5 available currently, but uh... You know, it's just one of the regular old Final Fantasies. It plays like Final Fantasy IV, except it has a job system, which is actually really cool, because you have four main characters, but you can change up their jobs and level those up individually. It's kind of like the current uh, Final Fantasy XIV MMO, which actually, I've also been playing Final Fantasy XIV Realm Reborn uh, on the PS3, and I can't wait for the PS4 version. I absolutely cannot wait for the PS4 version, because it's just gonna run so much better, it's gonna look so much better, it's gonna, it's just gonna feel better on the controller. I just can't wait to play it on the PS4. Um, it's still, yeah, it's, it's, it's an MMO, but it's, it's Final Fantasy above all else. I mean, 
if anything, it has that job system. It feels like a regular fight. It doesn't even feel like so, too much like an MMO. Like, you have all these other adventurers. You barely notice. You, like, you don't even really take into account. Oh, this is an MMO. I forgot. Well, you know, it, sh it still just feels like a Final Fantasy above all else. Now, games that I need to get to. <sighs> probably still not going to put anything there. I'm probably going to be too lazy. Uh, Ocarina of Time 3D. Still playing this. Haven't beat it. I... <laughs> I'm gonna get so much hate for this, but I dislike Ocarina of Time. I don't think it's the best Zelda. I think it's it's just not my favorite. I personally don't like Ocarina of Time too much. It was one. Of, it was the first Zelda game I ever saw. It was one of the first ones I ever had a uh, chance to play for a little bit. Never owned it until later, compared to my youth. But uh, I just don't like it too much. I mean, I like A Link to the Past more, and that was my voice. Uh, voiced. That was my voice, Zelda game. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on before this gets worse. Um, another game I need to play recently: Super Mario RPG. This card cost ninety dollars. It came with like a mint condition manual, which I don't. I should have brought with me, unfortunately, but it's all the way in the other side of my room. But this game is uh, hard. Uh, I want. Hmm. It's kind of hard to find, but at the same time, it's just not. It's really just expensive because it's considered one of the rare uh, SNES games. But this is still. Um, it's made by Square, but it's a good. It's a good game. Like I wish Nintendo would get Square up and make another one like this, or make one with Zelda. Zelda RPG, like JRPG, that'd be awesome, in my opinion, at least. But um, you can get this on the Wii Virtual Console, if I'm aware. Uh, and I guess you could also, you know. You know, go pirate it if you're a pirate. Ar. But anyways, yeah, this is a uh, this game that I've been one I've been playing recently, and it's still fun. It's te it tests the time of it takes the test of time or something, or I don't know. I don't know how that quote goes. Forget it. I'm not even gonna bother. Um, <laughs> another one I should really start getting back to is a uh, Parasite Eve. I played this for um. I played this for a while, and it was oh, it has such great music, and the story is really interesting. I think it's based off like a um, like a European novel. I don't know from where, but it had like movies, it had the novels, and it's all based on that. And this is you know, it's an old game, but you know, it's still a good game, and uh, it's it's really it's still a fun game. I mean, if you can find it somehow, uh, pick it up. If you like a uh, like running, roaming around uh, RPGs, but uh, it's I, I should really get back to it. I got stuck at some um, some like Cerberus boss or something, and I, I just did not have enough bullets to take it out, and it kept doing like this shock wave that would just kill me. But it's a fun game, so if you can find it, pick it up. If you don't want it for the price, of, well, for me, I bought I think this was twenty dollars for when I got it at a local store. Um, fun game. But if you don't want it, that's also understandable because I can see it not being for everybody. Uh, last game I need to get to because I was in the last temple. Majora's Mask. I need to get back to this game because this is uh, one of my favorite Zeldas and I haven't even beaten it. But uh, I'm right at the end. I'm at the Stone Tower Temple and I really should just go back and figure out what I need to do in there. But it's just such a hassle to turn on my game, my N64, not GameCube, my N64, get all the wires for that, plug that into the TV, get the controller. The controller is B button is sticky, so it gets like stuck. I don't know why. It was a used, con actually not a used console. It was a console I've owned for uh, many years. When my GameCube went down, uh, it burnt out because <laughs> of Pokemon XD Hill of Darkness when that came out. And uh, while I had to wait till Christmas to get a new GameCube, I went to a local store and I picked up uh, an N64 and played some of those N64 games while I was waiting for my game for a new GameCube. So this game is a, uh, I mean, what's there to say? It's probably one of the most unique Zelda games out there. And if you can find a cart, if you can uh, buy get the Virtual Console version on the Wii, or if you're waiting for a 3DS version, that probably won't happen. It probably won't happen anytime soon because they already made Wind Waker HD while they can make another remake of a Zelda game after Wind Waker came out like a year ago. Anyways, <laughs> you can find a cart or if you want to get the virtual console of the Zelda game, try it. It's a Zelda game that's not for everybody. That's one thing. It, the, most Zelda games are for everybody. This one is not for everybody. This one could get very uh, agitating for some people who don't have the patience to go through things and retry things. And It's very time-based because that's the whole thing about Majora's Ma Mask, if you're not aware. But uh, I really do need to return to this game at some point in the future. 
And uh, that's all I have for now. So I'm going to mention games that I'm going to be picking up soon. Whew. Still not doing anything. All right. Any, uh, anyways, Final Fantasy X HD is one game I'm going to be picking up uh, come March. Uh, Final Fantasy XIII Lightning Returns I'm picking up. I love the Final Fantasy XIII series, as you probably already know. But I don't care what people say. I'm gonna still gonna pick up Lightning Returns. Anyways, the game looks fantastic. I played the demo. Oh, it's so fun. It was so fun. And um, also gonna be picking up Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. I played the first one. One of my favorite games of all time. It is just... I don't know what, they, what it was about it, but Lords of Shadow was just such a good game, in my opinion. It did so many things right, and I just couldn't... I could not praise it enough. In this short time we have left of this video. Because I don't want this to go beyond 12 minutes or anything. Um, those are the few games I'm picking up. Also, if they ever get a release date. Uh, Zelda Muso or Zelda Warriors. And uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe. Uh, the new Kirby. I, I, I've loved Kirby ever since I was a child. I've I, Kirby is just my... I can't even say it's a guilty pleasure. Because a lot of people love Kirby. And uh, Zelda Warriors. Probably going to pick up. Mainly because it's Zelda. And I want to give the Dynasty Warriors another shot. But I want to spend it on money on a, something that I know I actually want if, of a Dynasty Warriors game. So I'm probably going to get the Zelda Muso to give it a give Dynasty Warriors a shot. Uh, that's all I can remember for games coming out soon. As for games coming out later in the year, you'll just wait for the other plugs of the other months. Anyways, this has been Nintendo PSX, and I will see you guys in the next video. If you want, you can give a look at our Facebook. You can go like that. Or if you want, also subscribe to the video if you're not already subscribed. If you just happen to pop up on this thing and be like, Oh, hello, I'm some guy, and I'm watching this video for the first time in my life. That was a horrible accent, wasn't it? I don't care. Whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you again.